After the success mantras last year, I evaluated myself and changed my approach towards chemistry. I took the help of my teachers and I gained my results. So the first ingredient when it comes to cracking J is a stepwise approach in solving problems. So problems in J they are more of they are of a different nature and you can't just go randomly solving questions. You need to have a stepwise approach. You need to have the concepts right and to have the concepts right that's why the material that is provided to us you have levels of questions. So always go from one level, the lower level, to the higher level, from one material to another. That's how the study materials in Fiji are designed. As for the other ingredient, it's speed and accuracy. I would give a greater preference to accuracy first, because accuracy, if you're accurate, you may lose out on some questions, but you can gain more marks. But if you're fast and not accurate, then you might solve more questions, but you might end up getting more uh, answers wrong. So I feel both speed and accuracy used together are important in solving problems. For me, patience is also a key ingredient in cracking J. The thing is, you may not get a problem, you may not crack a problem in the first attempt. And many people tend to give up on this. But no, that's not the way it's supposed to work. We are supposed to, we can revisit the problems once, twice, maybe three times, but it is possible. It is possible that you might get the solution in these three attempts. So developing patience is also very important in solving problems. The support from Fiji was extraordinary. We used to get our timetables, uh, which told us about at what times the tests would be, at what times the teachers are supposed to come. And we also got the opportunity to interact with the teachers and we can discuss our doubts in a one -to -one, on a one-to-one -one basis and clear them. And that's the best thing I liked because uh, no matter what you do, you shouldn't keep your doubts collected. You should you should get rid of doubts as quickly as possible. So what I mean to say is, uh, you need to clear your concepts before you go ahead. The kind of material that we got in Fiji was excellent. As in, we had levels of questions. So you had one level, which is an easy level. Then you move on to a different level, which is hard. And then you have a level which is harder than the previous one. And then you have the archives, the GMPs, the review packages, the exams ranging from the FCATs, the quizzes to the national level AITS and the AI Squares helped me to judge my performance. I, I was able to find out where I stand in not only in my own batch or in my own zone but in the country as a whole. I was able to gauge my performance and hence I was able to determine my true potential. The teachers were the ones with whom I have had a really good relationship with in all these years. They helped me clear my doubts, they helped me um, bridge the gaps in uh, concepts or in uh, when it comes to solving questions during an exam or a test and they took the pains to work to work beyond their working hours sometimes staying up late in the night just for let's say four or five doubts it has happened a lot of times in my case so I sincerely take this time to thank them all for all the pains they have taken thank you so much teachers I feel ignoring the uh, weakest subject is perhaps the biggest sin that you would ever do. You shouldn't 
ignore it or hate it but you should work on it with the help of your teachers with the help of uh, all the help all the materials that you get so that you develop the confidence in that so that you can overcome the fear that you have in that subject take my example i hated chemistry during uh, my 11th grade but after the success mantras last year i evaluated myself and changed my approach towards chemistry i took the help of my teachers and i gained my result i'm grateful and thankful to my lord my teachers my parents my friends and the entire system in fiji thank you so much